Is it harder to lose weight when you are older? With a few lifestyle changes, maintaining a healthy weight doesn't have to be hard as you age. Which said by the expert physicians as dietitians around the world. As you get older, you might notice that your body is not quite as forgiving as it used to be. Your clothes may begin to feel tight and you might feel like it's harder to exercise. So there is a belief that the middle-aged weight gain is inevitable. But the science tells us that with some lifestyle changes, it does not have to happen to everyone. So what the science says? So we start to lose muscle mass in our 30s. But the biggest change doesn't happen until the age of 50 when we start to lose muscle mass at the rate of 1-2% to per year. This reduction in the muscle mass comes with an increase in fat mass which explains why you might not actually put on weight. So sometimes at the age of 50 or 60, you may feel slim. Maybe your stomach is not popped out. But still there is a risk of increase in cholesterol in the body. It is a myth saying that only obese people are more vulnerable to increase cholesterol concentration in the blood and prone to heart diseases. Even when you are lean, when you have a sedentary lifestyle after the age of 50, the cholesterol is going to build up and the visceral fat is going to build up in your body. What is the visceral fat? Visceral fat is called as a deep fat. It is not the subcutaneous fat. It is a deep fat. It is stored further under the skin than the subcutaneous belly fat that is more closely associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases or diabetes. So over the time, these changes can make weight loss harder. Because weight loss is not the loss of uh, weight of the overall body. What you have to do is you have to increase the protein concentration and decrease the fat concentration in your body. It may be a visceral fat or maybe a subcutaneous fat. And changes in the hormone levels and lower muscle mass can reduce the amount of energy you use at rest. Also known as basal metabolic rate is going to reduce. So from the age of 20, our metabolism decreases by 1-2% to per decade. Meaning, we have to eat less to maintain the same weight because our metabolism drops. On top of this, as we get older, we tend to become more sedentary. Moving less means we burn less energy each day. But unfortunately, we tend not to eat less to match the fewer kilojoules we burn. So over the time with all these effects, what happens is this imbalance not only makes weight loss harder, it also leads to unwanted weight gain in terms of visceral fat as well as with the subcutaneous fat. So let us concentrate on some of the important tips to keep the weight same as you age. The most important thing is we have to consume more protein in our diet. Remember that aging muscles become less receptive to protein. But you can contract these age related changes by boosting your daily protein and making sure that each meal contains at least 20 to 30 grams of high quality protein. What is the meaning of high quality protein again? The proteins that contain all the essential amino acids the body doesn't manufacture itself is called as a high class protein. So these essential amino acids do things like repair body tissue and break down food. For example, you'll find 30 grams of protein in 110 grams of cooked red meat. This amount of protein will provide enough essential amino acids to help you to maintain and over the time it increases the muscle protein which means it automatically increases the muscle mass. Non-meat eaters can get the protein by means of foods like dairy, eggs, nuts, wheat, lentils, sunflowers, sesame seeds. There are so many foods are present like tofu, like broccoli, peas, kidney beans. So there are so many plant-based foods are available which has high amount of protein. So protein intake is very much essential after the age of 30 
or if you are pretty fit even then you have to maintain the normal amount of protein in each and every day meal second important thing is you have to do the resistant training if your exercise protocol does not include the resistance training now it is the right time to start remember as we age after the age of 30 years as we lose the muscle mass as we get older doing weights become important to counter this muscle loss so the resistant training is the best way to increase and maintain muscle function so ways to do including free weights weight machines resistant bands and your body weight for the best results get trained by the expert and train three to four times a week and make sure that your program is designed to challenge you that means increasing the resistance when it stops becoming hard knowing as progressive resistance training increasing your exercise load will also help you to improve your muscle mass as you age next important thing is move more this is very very important after the age of 30 again to prevent unhealthy weight gain the department of health guidelines recommend getting up to 5 hours of moderate intense activity each week concentrate on this it's very important to maintain the normal body weight at least you can also prevent the weight gaining for example this might be brisk walking or doing gardening again measure the intensity by how you feel few of us realize that uh, the exercise guidelines what we generally come across the internet says that sit less because sitting for the long periods of time is associated with increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes mellitus because sedentary lifestyle associated obesity is the first and important risk factor for the development of type 2 diabetes and reduce the amount of time you spend being sedentary and break up long periods of sitting by finding opportunities to move about wherever you want whenever you can can prevent developing the complicated diseases like heart diseases and type 2 diabetes mellitus this is how you can maintain your healthy well-being even after the age of 30 or 50 or 60 concentrate on these points for the healthy lifestyle thank you